we are having a conversation with Sam Potolicchio, and he is a visiting assistant professor at Georgetown University. And uh, Sam has been awarded three times uh, Teacher of the Year at Georgetown. How is it that education has been changing? You know, I think one of the things I've noticed the most in the five or six years that I've been teaching at the college level has been technology has really changed the entire classroom. Students have instantaneous, uh, they, they can see knowledge very quickly. If I'm lecturing, they can check and verify whether or not the information I'm talking about is true or they can go and supplement the information I'm giving them. So one of the things that I've tried to do to change with this is to be more interactive, to provide more Socratic dialogue in the classroom, and also to get the students to be more active in, uh, in their own education. Do you think that teachers and students need new skills in this environment? I, I do. I, I think you know, teachers right now need to do a better job of becoming more generalist in their knowledge. Instead of just focusing on a very small specialization, they need to be able to connect disparate bodies of information to other bodies of information. Um, because I think one of the best things we can do in education today is begin to talk in a cross-disciplinary fashion so that an economics teacher also has an understanding of international relations, geopolitical situations, even in even some cases literature. Because we need to do a better job of being able to connect things that we don't normally think connect. Finally, Sam, if a student approaches you and asks, uh, how could I improve my learning skills? What would you recommend? First, I'd say you need to be a global explorer. You need to travel, not just internationally, but domestically. You need to see as many different people, as many different backgrounds as possible. Uh, secondly, I always tell my students, you should try to read three books every single week. And that sounds crazy. It sounds like you don't have time for it. But if you cut off your Facebook time a little bit, you can make it happen. And books in very diverse subjects. I try to read a novel every single week. I try to read some sort of biography. And I try to read a book in a field that I have no idea about. Um, and I also try to sprinkle in some poetry books as well. And another thing that, that these students really need to do is they need to realize that they need to take classes outside of their specialization. They need to be willing to play with boundaries, not within boundaries. And if you're an economic student, you should be able to dabble in literature. You should be able to dabble in medicine or biology or politics. And I think these are some things that can really help the student unlock their potential. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Sam, for sharing these ideas with us. And thank you, too.